Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pivashya and today I'm going to be doing a makeup look which is inspired by Alia Bhatt. So if you are interested in seeing how that makeup goes on and which products I'm using to achieve that look, please stay on the video. Now Alia Bhatt, as everyone know, has had an exceptional 2022. She had a great great hit with Kangubai and then she got married uh, to her childhood crush and I was like really inspired by the aesthetic she embodies. She has like a very organic peachy you know maniac pixie dream girl kind of a vibe to her and when she was doing the promotions for Gangubai, she came out with these gorgeous white outfits and she was having that peachy glowy kind of a makeup look on on herself and that is something which really inspired me to make this video although i'm like a, a year late on this trend but yeah what the hell i'm just here to have fun now this is like my photo for reference i'll also insert it and i'm going to show which makeup products i might be using for this video so without further blabbering let's get into it now firstly i noticed that she has a very very glowy base and for that i'm going to start with two primers i'm going to use the elf jelly pop primer now it's a very gripping primer it really helps to make those products last for a long long time on your face so that's why i really like this product um also it makes your skin like very juicy and very you know hydrated uh, which is something i'm going for this particular look sorry i just had to take a break to get my hair back i had just a horrible haircut which i did myself and for like two-ish months my hair has not been growing out it's not the best experience so yeah always advise against cutting your own hair especially when you have a length which is closer to mine now going in i'm going to add in some extra glow so i'm going to go in this golden r elana strobe cream now this uh, strobe cream is very similar to the max strobe cream i have used this many many times i love this uh product and also when i'm like trying to achieve that kind of uh, glow which alia has which is kind of a pinky uh sheen i think so this will work perfectly for that particular makeup look i'm just applying it generously on the high points of my face and um, this is just going to you know poke through the foundation and give that extra definition but yeah that's 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 about it you can see how my skin is all glows glowing and you know glazing like a donut which i absolutely love which i absolutely absolutely love now i'm going to go in with a demi matte foundation i was very conflicted whether i should go in for a dewy foundation or a demi matte foundation but then i kind of looked at her photos from different angles her skin it has that soft matte finish to her it has a kind of a cloudy velvety texture it's neither too dewy it's not too matte so that's why i decided to go with the soft matte foundation the foundation i'm going to use is the k beauty foundation and the color it's called 105 by light i'm just going to take two pumps of it not more than two pumps and i'm going to just spread it like this and then i'm going to mix in this strobe cream just a little bit of strobe cream in this foundation okay this just came out to be a lot i'm just going to put the rest of the strobe cream somewhere else and then i'm going to use in my trusty foundation brush you can use a makeup blender you can use anything and just like blend everything out um i'm not using a dewy foundation because i feel that kind of you know it kind of the effect which i achieve by mixing these two products um you know it's kind of a little bit more elevated which i can achieve with a dewy foundation and i like mixing my own things you know so i wanted to act like a scientist today that's why i'm doing that and i'm just going to keep it this way 
blend the foundation out with my fingers and also don't forget your neck blend 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 now if you want to like increase the coverage of this foundation by all means do that but right now um i'm not that concerned about the coverage because i'm more concerned about kind of angelic glow which my face should have for this particular makeup look now i'm going to go in with concealer and that is going to take care of the darker areas of my face or wherever i have a little bit more pigmentation i'm using the elf hydrating chemo concealer you can use any concealer i'm using this concealer because i have not used this for a while and i really really want to use the products i own and you know i don't want to waste stuff i have so i'm just putting it wherever i need a little bit more coverage wherever i have some pigmented spots or stuff like that and then i'm going to blend it out with my concealer brush i absolutely love this soft concealer brush it's called real techniques 421 it's a great great concealer brush it's it's just the absolute best i never used to like brushes for blending out my makeup to be very honest but since i got this particular brush set like actually when since i got some good makeup brush sets i was like no they kind of change your entire face they kind of change how your makeup blends and looks on your face so i was like really really impressed by how some of these blending brushes work you see how quickly it blends so it's it's not like very splotchy like how a beauty blender would blend it's kind of like it retains your coverage but at the same time it gives that seamless kind of blend effect and also it shows that i have a little bit extra time right now because when i was i have been like super busy this past year and all i did was blend my makeup with my fingers i never used to go for brushes but now i do have some downtime on myself i want to like indulge in these excessive routines and kind of you know relax and enjoy the process of putting makeup on myself i'm going to go in straight with the base i'm going to go in with this revolution ultra cream bronzer i'm so glad this is on nika right now i actually got it from out of india when i was traveling but this is hands down the best cream bronzer i've ever ever tried it's such a gorgeous gorgeous formula and on that picture which is like my reference picture uh, you might see that alia has some cream bronzer like her cheeks are like bronze and stuff but the blush or and the glow is like the main focus but she does have some bronzer on so i'm just going to put in bronzer wherever i usually put in now i lost my trusty contour brush and i'm very very mad about it so i'm going to use this brush again for blending out my contour you see how seamlessly it kind of blends into your skin it virtually like literally literally melts into your skin and that's the best quality of a cream bronzer um i also have uh, some new releases from elf which i i had heads on i got them like a year ago and i've been testing them for almost a year so if you guys like want to see a video on how those elf products perform i'll be like happy to do so and also like put it in your comments down below what kind of videos would you like to see from me i mean i really like hearing your feedback and your suggestions and everything like that So you see how this thing kind of added like good structure to my face and uh, already my face is super glowy with using the strobe cream and using mixing it with the foundation and everything. Now I'm going to be a little extra. I'm going to put on a bronzer because in the reference picture I see her face is a little bit more bronzed and we want to stay close to the resource we have. Um, I, I made it more scientific <laughs> but yeah don't blame it on me i i do love science so i'm just going to put on some bronzer i'm using the same foundation brush like this is not something i would recommend but if you're short on resources like i am right now and you have like 
or what in some brushes you had or whatever just like improvise improvisation leads to great discoveries great men said okay now i'm going to go into the best which is putting on the blush and um in the reference picture she has very peachy kind of um blush on and i'm going to go for a peachy blush so i'm going on for this elf buddy blush and the shade is called bahamas so i'm going to put in put this blush and i'm going to put it a little bit higher on my cheekbones just a little bit here and just a little bit here also on the tip of my nose and we are going to keep it like that and then i'm going to use this uh, Ilana Organics Dream Blush and this blush is called Peaches and I'm going to put that blush a little bit a little just a little teeny tiny bit not on the apple of my cheek per se but a little bit farther on the apple of my cheek I'm going to blend this with this blush this blush is actually from Ulta so it's hard to find get hold of this in India but I'm just going to blend this thing out you can use any kind of blush brush you have i feel like blush brushes are very easy to find they're not um something like super unique or anything like that so i think it's like any kind of blush brush would work but you see how this kind of a concoction made like a very very peachy um kind of uh glow which is very similar to this glow she has on like i'm sorry my i have like clearing and then i'm getting notifications but it's very similar to what she has on which which whatever she is on blend 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 and also just use whatever you have so far so good i'm really liking how this look is turning out to be now I'm going to go in with the highlight portion. She has a very glazed highlight. Like I'm going to go in with the stick highlighter from e.l.f. This is called the Jelly Pop Glow Highlighter. Just putting it a little bit on there. A little bit on here. And also I'm putting it under my eyebrows. Cupid's bow. Tip of my nose. And the root of my nose just blend it with my fingers i feel for this particular uh, highlighter blending with your fingers like or with any stick highlighter like keep it easy blend it with your fingers it's the best way it's going to melt it in your skin and then i'm going to blend whatever is on here under my eyebrow and the tip of my nose I don't feel that I don't need I have the need to go with a powder highlighter but I'm just going to keep it with this keep it at here and I'm going to use uh, the K loose setting powder in vanilla to set everything I have on my face uh, I'm just going to lightly dust this powder I'm not going to go crazy not going to bake my face I'm not going to make any cake here today but I'm just going to brush everything I have on my face so that everything looks you know well integrated nothing is flying out or anything like that okay now I'm going to go in to the fun part which is the eyes now for eyes she has a very minimal kind of a look so for eyes what I noticed on her that she has a very a prominent bronziness on this portion of the eyes so I'm going to go in and try to emulate that i'm using the soap x revolution palette this is like the oldest palette i own i'm mixing this neutral color with this uh yellowish mustard color and then i'm going to put it in here like this and also i'm going to put it on my entire crease okay just to going in again with these two colors and concentrating it here then i'm going to go in with the putty blush in bahamas or 
and then I'm just going to put it here as well as put it on the other part of the crease just like creating kind of a hollow you see just leaving this part and putting it here and putting it there and I'm just blending it out with my fingers And then I'm just taking my brush and blending everything in so that everything looks nice and blended. I'm going to go in with this brown shade. Just gently kind of tapping it here. Making this eye socket a little bit more darker because I'm just going hard with whatever is on the reference pic you can skip this step if you want to but today i feel like a good student and i want to be very close to my reference material i don't know it kind of like sounds very funny right now but yeah i want to be i want to see how this look kind of looks on my face type me and alia we have obviously very very different face shapes and face structures but i just want to see how you know different makeup different same techniques of makeup looks different on different faces i'm going to go in with this very cool toned orange and i'm putting it out here because that is what she has also going on on the outer edge and then finally for the fun part i'm going to use this color and mix it with the pink then just put in the center which I kind of spared so this is not working out I'm going, going to go in with the color pop uh, eyeshadow and this eyeshadow is called I have to find out what it's called I think so it's the Ritz I'm just going to put it in the center and also kind of diffusing it everywhere hmm. it kind of looks nice so that's that now for the lower eye i'm going to go in with this neutral color on the narrow end of the brush and putting it right here and then i'm going to go in with a very 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 narrow brush it's actually from swiss beauty i'm going to go in with this brown i'm going to mix some black and we are just gently going to line our eyes i'm not making a wing i'm not doing none of it today just gently gently lining my eyes so that our lid line has some definition which is what Alia's lid line has. That's about it. You see how there's like a difference. But yeah, that's the difference I'm going for today. And now, finally, I'm just going to go in and take a plunge and apply some mascara right now. I'm using this Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. It's a very, very good mascara. Very lengthening. Very awesome. Totally love it. So the eyes are done, and I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I'm using this eyebrow brush fully, just brushing up my eyebrow hair. And then I'm going to take the same Swiss Beauty eyebrow brush, and I'm going to put it in with some brown eyebrow portion and just fill in my eyebrows Thank <laughs> you. 
okay and finally i'm going in with this puri again and just brushing everything up so that everything look nice and unified i'm just going to remove the extra mascara swabs i have all over my face and now i'm going to jump into the lips now for her lips she has something like very peachy very kind of uh, lip all over so i'm going to go in with this uh, k beauty sensational lip liner i like this lip liner because it's also kind of peachy and gently lining my lips it's so hard to speak when you're like lining your lips but it's also kind of fun After doing that, I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Lip Balm and I'm going to put it on the center of my lips. but if you don't have this lip balm you can always go in for this peripera mood lip tint and the shade which is very similar to this lip balm is 09 but this lip balm if you happen to find it it's like a perfect shade for shade match for whatever she's wearing in that uh, just because i'm a little bit extra i'm going to go in with this lip gloss just a little bit scent on the center you see how it's also very very similar and i kind of feel like it ties the whole look together and that book is this makeup look inspired by alia but i hope you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really helps me a lot and leave your com leave your thoughts in the comments down below let me know what you want to see from me in future and thank you so much for watching me it means a lot bye